let's talk a little bit about flux. So on the screen, what I have is a magnetic field coming out the screen at you, and then I have a wire connected to a light bulb. And the wire's got a little loop inside of it, the coil. It's an enclosed shape. And what I know from Lenz's law is that if I do anything to change the flux, the amount of magnetic field inside that coil, if I do anything to change it, then charges will move to try to counter the change. Now to counter the change, when you move charges, they're going to create their own magnetic field. So that's going to be the red that appears in the loop. And there's the red again. So when the light starts off, there's no flux in the coil. Then I start entering an area where I got magnetic field, and it will produce the opposite field to get back to zero, because that's the steady state. The steady state being the where it started. There we go. Now the X's and the dots would cancel. It moves through the space of the magnetic field. There's no change in flux. As it leaves the magnetic field, because it's gotten to some kind of equilibrium point, which is steady state, as it leaves the magnetic field, it starts to lose magnetic field coming out, so charges will move in that loop, that enclosed shape, to generate more magnetic field coming out. So now let's look at it with the right hand rule. So I know when it first starts off there's no magnetic field, and then I begin to add field coming at me. If I use the closed right hand rule, my fingers go into the hoop, so field going in counteracts the field coming out, and so they'll cancel each other to get back to the original position of zero on the left hand side. Inside the magnetic field as it moves nothing happens but now it begins to leave. When it leaves I start losing field coming out of the hoop. So that means I use the closed right hand rule and grab it so that my fingers are coming out because I've got to add the field that I'm losing to oppose that change. And that shows me the direction of the current. So when it enters the field I've got the current I've detected it going one direction. And when it leaves the field it goes the other direction. And in this case the speed should be the same. The animation's off a little bit that's all. So I can look at it this way with the field, and here creates what it's losing. So with Lenz's Law, you're always trying to get back to the original amount of flux.